Hey, welcome YouTubers. Today is going to be a new series uh, on my channel that I'm going to be doing. Uh, as per my last video, I did mention that I was th starting thinking about doing a new project. And this is my new project. Um, starting a two two and a half gallon um, nano reef here. Um, I had this little two and a half gallon tank available for a long time. Used to be a beta in there, uh, but that was a long time ago. I've been, you know, trying to figure out if I should start, you know, a reef tank in there. And after a long deliberation, I decided that I'm, I think it's time to start. So, and for this project, this is going to be a whole new series on my channel. So... You know, I have my 45 gallon uh, upstairs, and this is going to be in my basement. So, this is the first episode of it. Uh, we're going to go by episodes for the Nano Reef. Uh, so, first, this is the first episode. Now, I've been working on the Aquascape, as you can see. I do have a pretty, you know, little sh uh, little layout already set up. It took me about an hour or so uh, to get all everything done. I used... Uh, as you can see some rocks there, rubber rocks, dry rocks there. Um, now, I did order these rocks from... Um, the rocks I actually got from Marine Depot. Um, got a pretty good deal on it. Um, so, and as you can see, I kind of got a couple of structures going. I wanted some levels in there. So, the best I can do with a small amount of space. Uh, there's a top view. I use the IC uh, BR, uh, BSI IC the gel um, BSI glue to glue the rocks into place. As you can see, I'm gonna be using cancer filter on this. You know, it's a two and a half gallon um, using a Fluval 306, so it's gonna be it's rated for uh, up to 75 gallons, so plenty of um, sufficient right there. It's gonna be right under there 306. Uh, it used to be with my 45 gallon, but now that I have a sump, I had it laying around, so that kind of gave me the thought. So here it is. Um, as far as livestock goes, I haven't uh, decided what I'm gonna do. I know I'm only gonna have one fish in here, cause it's a two and a half gallon. You know, you don't want to put too much. Um, oh, there, there you guys go. If you guys want to see the BRS IC gel. Um, so what I what I'm thinking about doing with this is I'm probably gonna have one fish in there. So I want I want you to, I have an idea of what I want to do, but if you guys uh, know of a better fish, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm what I'm thinking about. But I want you guys to leave a comment below us to see what fish would you like to see in this nano reef tank. Uh, so put it in the comments below, and we'll I'll see what the pot what the majority says, and I'll probably go by that. Um, obviously I, I have to like it if I don't like the fish, you know, I probably won't, but I do want you guys input to see, um, what I should put in there. So, you know, everything is set up so far. Um, all I'm going to start doing is I'm going to add the, I'm going to add the live sand. And then after that, I'm just going to fill it up uh, with salt water and it's going to cure for obviously a couple of weeks. So there's going to be no, no, nothing in there while the, while the, well, the tank cycles through the process. So if you guys are new into the hobby, you're looking into how to start, this will be the right video for you. This is from the beginning to the, well, however long this, uh, this, uh, you know, the series goes. So keep watching, stay tuned, if, especially if you're new to the hobby. I'm sorry about the shaky camera. I usually use a tripod for this. I haven't just I used a tripod, so I do apologize for the shakiness. It's going to be throughout the whole video, so I do apologize in advance. Um, as far as other equipment goes, you know, I'm going to be using an LED light. I'll give you the details about the light when I actually put it on. You're not going to need the light at this point. You need the tank needs to cycle through, and you don't need any lights in there. So I'm going to start. You know, I'm going to add the live sand and then I'm going to cut the video. After I cut the video, I'm going to add the live sand and I'll, we'll, when we come back, I'm going to, you know, you're going to see me add water. So basically, it's not that complicated. Once, you know, at this point, you set up your rocks first and then you add your sand. And I went with the live sand, the Carapsi, uh Ulite, Argolite, Ulite sand. So let's go there now. 
so as you can see right there i had the sand already laid out i mean i ordered a 10 pound bag but i didn't get to use all of it probably half of it because i wanted at least two inches thick of sand so as you know we're going to start adding the salt water in there um obviously i'm using a pump to pump the water out from the bucket try not to directly put water directly onto the rocks or the sand go from the edge so we'll fill it up now this will take maybe a day to clear out because it's a small two and a half gallon so it's not it's not going to take very long time um so you know you'll it's probably going to clear out by the time we're done with this video <laughs> um so here we go as you can see now that i have added the water it's i mean it's not that bad you just gotta tinker around with those the sand bed a little bit get that right i as you can see i really love this type of sand i wish i've done the oolite sand for my 45 gallon but i didn't go with the oolite sand i don't know why but this i love the oolite sand because it actually has different spots of colors in it so it's a really really beautiful sand um my as my cancer filter right there return uh, inlet and outlet now the flow is a little too strong um as you can see the water is the flow is a little too strong on this so i'm gonna leave it the way it is while the tank cycles but after the tank cycles and i'm ready to start adding uh corals at, you know in it then depending on type of corals i might have to change the flow of it so which means i'm probably gonna have to control that flow in there i mean it's like really really strong flow in there right now which is fantastic if I was going to, you know, have only SPS in there or an Acros. But I want to have some variety, softies, hard, um, LPSs. So, I mean, I'm, I, want, I might be tinkering with the, with the flow a little bit later, you know, a couple of weeks down the road. But not right now. So, you know, this is the first episode. I'm not going to get too details into, to, into it because there's not much going on right now. Now for the, you know, as as the tank progresses, as it cycles through, um, periodically I'll upload new videos. So stay tuned. But right now, this is the first episode. As you can see, it's already clearing out a little bit. So stay tuned. I'm going to keep updating you guys. And, you know, this is day one. You know, the day today I, I made the video today because I started this whole project, you know, started the cycle process today. So before I out of the rocks i didn't do anything special to the rocks i didn't you know you know cure them or anything this is just they came in i washed them i set them up off for rock escape i put it in the tank I, I got the sand i put the sand in and just put the water right in that's how you're supposed to do it let all the curing happen at once together that's the best way and you know we'll give it a couple weeks um probably i'll make another video in about a week to two weeks another two weeks see what's going on you know you, we might have to do a water change and keep testing the water make sure it goes through a full cycle and stay tuned guys you know this is going to be really exciting uh and i thank you guys uh for following my channel and you know leave comments below and i do appreciate you guys take care